Hey guys and happy new year. This is Dan. I am starting up my vlogs again. I haven't done vlogging in a while. <laughs> um, so I thought today being a Saturday, f um, first weekend of the year, I, th I think today's the 4th, 5th, 6th of January being on a Saturday. Um, so today I am going to go to the one of the A-League games in Bankwest, Parramatta. Wanderers home game taking on the Central Coast Mariners. I am going with my friend John. He's a Mariners fan. We are going to be sitting in the away bay watching the game. So I'll be reviewing that. Also, I do want to bring in a burger review. I watch um, Spanian, you know, I've, I've seen his burger reviews and it's kind of inspired me to start my own burger review. Um, so I want to review grilled burgers today. Um, I've never tried it. Um, I've heard a lot about it. I've heard such good reviews about it. I'm a massive burger lover. I love my burgers. For anyone that knows me personally, you know how much I love my burgers. So I will be reviewing that, um, seeing how it is. Um, and yeah, let's get started. Hello. So these are my dogs, Suki um, and Lizzie. They're both female dogs. They're so cute. Um, this is another dog. Oh, 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 okay, relax, relax. Let's not get hostile here. Let's not get hostile. So this is my um, cousin's dog. Um, and yeah, so <laughs> as you can see, I've got a house full of dogs. And, you know, <laughs> when, I was doing, when I was vlogging just beforehand, they were knocking on the door. They, they they love to follow me around everywhere I go, so, <laughs> yeah. So I'm trying out this fish and chips place. At a, I'm, it's lunchtime, so my mate wanted to see a movie at Top Ride. So I decided to um, have lunch at this fish and chips place while I'm waiting for him. I'm actually getting a beef burger, so I might do a review on that as well. We're still going to go to Grilled Burgers tonight, but I thought I might as well do another burger review while I'm here and try this place out. We've got the beef burger here, as you can see. Oh shit. Bloody, I, dro I dropped the meat on the on the phone the first time I was trying to show you guys what was inside. Bloody hopeless me, hey? Great start to my vlogs. Fucking hell. So the place I went to was Top Fish and Chips Grilled. It's located in Top Ride. I'm gonna do a burger review on how this tastes. Um, so what I did is I got the beef burger with chips. Um, so we got the lettuce, we've got the beef, cheese, melted cheese. Um, we've got a bit of tomato in there. So let's see how it tastes. It tastes pretty good guys, it tastes pretty good. Nothing special, it tastes like an ordinary beef burger. Um, Really nice though, I like the added flavour of the melted cheese. The melted cheese makes it a little bit nicer than what it is. Um, but it's pretty decent, pretty nice. Guys, I'm not going to lie, it's not bad at all. I'd say this is better than your Hungry Jack's burger. Um, yeah, like the melted cheese, as I said, really nice. The beef, well done. Perfection. Um, it's your, it's your typical, ordinary, I'd say, beef burger. Um, but I feel like more filling in a way. So, yeah. The chips are pretty nice, actually. Really good chips. Put a nice amount of salt in it, which is, tastes nice. Guys, top fish and chips, I'll give it 5.5 .5 out of 10. I mean, it's nothing special but it hits a, it hits a spot. Um, as I said, better than your ordinary Hungry Jack's burger, McDonald's burger. Just more filling, I would say, than having one of those burgers. Um, but yeah, it does hit the spot. As I said, the melted cheese is what makes it. The beef is ordinary, but yeah, 5.5, .5, not too bad at all. You know what, guys? Um, because that meal just costed me only $10, including the drink, I'm actually going to bump it up to a 6 out of 10. Just because if you get a meal at McDonald's, Hungry Jack's, anywhere else, I guarantee you it wouldn't be $10. So to get that for $10, that's that's a bargain, mate. So 
That's why I'm going to up it to six, just because of the price. Good value for money. Um, and yeah, it was a good meal. Um, pretty full after that meal. So yeah, bump it up to a six. So guys, just watched um, a movie with a mate, leaving Top Ride Cinemas, heading home for a bit before the Mariners and Wanderers game starts. As it starts, you know, 5.30, I've still got a bit of time up my sleeve. I was thinking, guys, you know, I haven't been to an A-League game in a long time. I, I don't really go to many um, A-League games nowadays. I used to go to a lot of home Sydney FC games, but I kind of got over it. I kind of got over watching A-League. Don't get me wrong, from time to time, I would still watch it on TV every now and again if it's Sydney FC playing. I'm not a big... I'm not as big of a fan of the league as I once was, but you know what? Being it's been a while since I've been to a game, I saw may as well place a cheeky bet on one of the teams. Being a Sydney FC fan, have to go for the Mariners. Might place fifty dollars on Mariners to win. I don't know how much it's paying. I would assume Wanderers home game, Wanderers would be favourites to win. So. Place, I guess, you know, going for Mariners, if they somehow win, you win more money back. <laughs> I, I really got to stop gambling, personally. <laughs> I, last year, I really, I really had a bad habit of betting on a lot of games, mostly NBA and, and, and Rugby League. I did, I did win quite a bit from Rugby League last year. I'd say, overall, I won over $10,000 on Rugby League games, so... I was pretty successful in betting on rugby league, but NBA, forget it. Soccer, football, EPL, forget it. So, try again today. <laughs> um, do it as a one-off, and if I win, I win, I lose, I lose. So, $50, I'm going to put on the Mariners to win. Let's see how it turns out. Let's see if I can profit for once on a soccer game. Uh, but yeah, guys, I'll keep you posted when I get there. So, guys, I have made my bet. I went to the tab and placed down a bet. Originally, I was going to put Mariners to win, $50 down. You know what? I'm like, nah, let's escalate it. Let's put a player to score two goals. So I put down Qual from the Mariners. To score two goals against the Wanderers, place down 50, return of $550 back. That will be a massive win if he does pull it off, which I highly doubt. I highly doubt. Guys, I'm probably going to lose, um, but hey, it's part of the fun. Adds more enjoyment to the game. So, yeah, if it happens, I'll be a happy man. <laughs> All right, we are more at Common Bank Stadium. Johnny, what's the score tonight? What's the prediction? 2-0 uh, Mariners. 2-0 Mariners? Yes. You don't think Wanderers will score? No. No? no. <laughs> Not anyway. <laughs> what do you think of the Mariners' performance of recent weeks? Have they been winning or losing? Well, we've been a uh, mixture. Win and lose. Win and lose? Yeah. You got to, what's the history between the Wanderers and Mariners? <laughs> That's not... <laughs> That's a... <laughs> no comment, no comment. 1-0 at half time. Mariners are leading 1-0. Pretty good, looking good so far for the Mariners. Quile didn't score, unfortunately, yet, as of yet. Um, so we are sitting in the away bay. Got a good view, actually. I mean, that side, that side is the away bay, which I'm sitting in. So yeah, Mariners up 1-0. Look, I'll be happy if Mariners win still. So, it, uh, um, still second half to go. Can Qual score two goals in the second half? Only time will tell. But yeah, decent crowd, I would say, looking at it. I'd probably say 8,000, my guess, 8,000. So, yeah, yeah. Um, second half to come, let's see what happens. So, Johnny, you might get the score correct. I could, I what, what did you say? You said 2 0, but I, ho I hope I'm wrong in, in a good way. I hope they score more goals. So, how do you feel about the first half, how they played? Well, 
we had a few opportunities that we, we couldn't get done, but at least we scored one goal, which is at least good. We had, we've had good defence. Yeah. It's Hopefully awesome. we can keep they can keep it up in the second half and yes. score another goal. Of course. To make it two nil. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what well got sent off injured, unfortunately, so there goes my bet. But Mariners looking pretty good. Um, yeah, yeah, we now have a corner. They've got a corner now. Let's see if they can get this corner kick. Imagine if they get it while I'm recording. <laughs> Right, let's see. Just let's see, imagine, yeah. But how do I turn the camera around? I love this. Right. Let's see, let's see, let's see. No. Oh. Nah. Tony, how do you feel? What a win, 1-0. Very, very good. Well, well that's not what my, not, wasn't my prediction, but that's, that's still the best. You still won? Still won, still yeah, won. yeah. So we'll go. They had to hold on at the oh, end. Yeah. Uh, there was a bit of pressure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> good win, good win. Great win by the Central Coast Mariners, Johnny. Yeah. How do you feel? Over the moon, man. Uh, like, uh, my first, it was like our first away win. No, not our first. The first away win that I've attended. And first win of the season. Not first in the season. Well, no, first, no, first win of the year, I should say. First yeah, yes, this is in the year. Yeah, no, no. That'll, be, that'll be concerning if it was of the season, eh? Hey? It last. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, 1-0. It's a weird result, actually. Yeah. They didn't even concede. Yeah, we, but we, you we, got one prediction, yeah. right? That one do wouldn't concede. That's right. That's what I did. I so, did, you, did. so you, you got that correct. Yeah. Um, so Mariners move up to fourth position. Do you think yeah. they can make it to the finals again? Oh, it's too the tail, but I, I'm, I'm honey out hope. Yes. Yeah. Alright, so me and my mates, we stopped at Alice and Co for dinner. I just got, I, I didn't end up doing a burger, I just got some chicken wings. Um, what did you get, Bill? I got the chili prawn linguini. The chili prawn linguini. Linguini. Um, which actually looks really nice. What did you get, John? I got the rigatoni bolognese. The honey bolognese, yes. which looks good. What did you get, Yoddy? Seafood spaghetti. So, you want some seafood? You can say anything better than this. <laughs> <laughs> it actually looks quite nice, and then we just have the margarita. Um, <laughs> <laughs> You're putting me off. Um, we just got the garlic pizza as just the starters. So, actually, it looks really nice. I'm going to try it and, and let, let you know, guys. I, actually, my first time being at Addison Co. It's quite, it's quite a fancy place, so yeah. So guys, the food ended up tasting really great. Um, I, d I didn't end up posting more videos after that. I just thought, you know, let's just enjoy the night, enjoy the food. Um, yeah, but really good. Just ended up having the chicken wings, like I said. I wasn't too hungry, but yeah, really loved it. What we ended up doing is we just had dinner, you know, just... Um, and then we actually went to time zone and just, yeah, just chilled there. Um, did a little bit of bowling and just call it a night. But yeah, it was a good night. It was a good night. So my, me and my mates, we started talking during di dinner. And um, I, I decided to, because, you know, I want to do food reviews. Um, but maybe not just burgers, just like restaurants, that are, like the best restaurants in Sydney. I would, like me and my mates thought okay let you know let's go to some of these places in sydney do a food review um order different meals and just get our take on it and i think we might do that going forward and so what i decided to do is um create a new instagram page called living in many eateries um just made it yesterday i will post up the link soon um, so you can start following that group and yeah, so what I'll do is myself and my mates will just post um, food vlogs, food reviews, even take photos of the foods that we're having and just, yeah, just bring you those vlogs um, on Instagram as well as I'll still do vlogs on YouTube as well uh, of of like what I, what I eat and stuff. Um, the foods that I review, I should say. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. But, guys, really hope you enjoyed my first vlog of the year. Um, let me know what you think. If you want me to continue to keep mate, providing this um, for you, let me know. I kind of like making these vlogs too because I can just... If, if, I, if I continuously 
keep keep at it throughout the year. I can even just for myself look back on the year that has been and just saying, oh yeah, I did this on that day, I did that on that day. So I kind of like, yeah, just keeping myself accountable too a little bit. So yeah. Anyways, guys, take care. Thank you.